Hey fifth grade, happy Tuesday. Um, I'm going to read to you pages 110 through 112 and then you can read on your own pages 113 to 115. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoy. Here we go, page 110. Even cold, sorry, even cool old Byron forgot how cool he was and screamed out, Oh man, this is too, too hip. No one's got one of these. Speeder don't even have one in his Cadillac. Too much, man, way too much. Joey and Byron climbed into the car on either side of me. We all said, turn it on, Daddy. I knew Dad was kind of disappointed by the way Mama had acted. She really hurt his feelings by walking off like that. Some of the time, I think she forgot how sensitive Dad was. Even though he acted cheery with us, I knew it wasn't the same for him now. I knew if Mama had stayed and hadn't gone off mumbling about money, we would have been having a lot more fun. But Dad forgot all this stuff real quick and got excited about showing off the record player. Dad was like me. He loved putting on a show. Or as Mama said, we both loved acting the fool. Dad was the best at it, though, and I couldn't wait until I was as good as he was. Well, 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 Dad said, leaning down into the car. I see you three have the, have the ultimate in taste. I see you've chosen the top of the line, the cream of the crop, the true tone, AB 700 model, model the Ultra Glide. We had to, because right in the front of the record player, in big red letters, it said, TT AB 700 Ultra Glide. As I'm certain you are aware, the problem in the past with this new technology and automotive sound has been road vibrations interfering with an accurate dispersal of the phonic inter sorry <laughs> of the phonic interpretations. Huh? Byron said. Dad said. In other words, I'm sure you know that the good old days, every time you drove over a bump with one of those things, the needle would jump and scratch the record. Me and Joey played along. We know, we know. And I'm sure as fine, intelligent looking family as this one, it is Mr. and Mrs. Watson and your son, isn't it? Oh no, Joetta said and pointed at Byron. This isn't our son. This is just a little juvenile delinquent boy that we feel sorry for and let follow us around some of the time. Our real son has hair. Even this didn't bother Byron, who was amazed by the Brown Bomber's latest edition. Dad kept intimidating the guy who sold him the record player. Yes, as I'm sure a nice family like this one is aware. It was only last year that the scientists in Aut Autotronic Industries made a brilliant, beautiful, breathtaking breakthrough and developed a suitable system for controlling these vibrations. Yeah, I said. I saw it last night on the news. Walter Cronkett said it was a miracle. Dad laughed. Precisely, Mr. Watson. Walt has two of these babies in his car and one in his motorcycle. We know, we know. Yes, the vibration problem has been overcome by the exclusive vibro, vibrodynamic lateral anti-internal dampering system. <laughs> Dad had memorized that word because right on the arm of the record player, it said V-D-L-A-I dampening patent. Come on, Daddy, turn it up. Stop teasing. Now, now, Mrs. Watson, be patient and tell that little delinquent that follows you around that if he touches one more knob on that record player, I'm going to pull his fingers off. Byron mumbled and sat back in the seat. Before I dazzle you with the symphonic sound of this unit, let me point out some of these less appreciated features. Oh, please do. Aw, oh, man, just turn the blank thing on. If I gotta listen to all this jive, I'm gonna be go in the house and get some real cool sounds. Byron opened the passenger door and ran into the house. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Watson, I'd like to direct your attention to the rear of your classic automobile. Me and Joey crawled up on the back seat and looked at the back window. On the real shelf, on the rear shelf, a hole had been cut and was covered with some stuff that's on the screen door. I can see you're wondering what that is. Well, let me explain. What we have here is, believe it or not, a second speaker. And I can tell by the intelligent look on your face, Mrs. Watson, that you have grasped that that speaker is not placed in the rear deck haphazardly. No, ma'am. Some people think we have a hole hacked in back there by any old mechanic, but nothing could be further from the truth. Okay, guys, go ahead, read pages 113 to 115, and don't forget to fill out the form and submit it, and then go on iReady for 20 minutes, okay? Bye, guys. Have a great day.